Hello, this is Mrs. Kohler and welcome to your first podcast on physical and chemical changes. Now the essential question is how do physical and chemical changes differ? So first I'm going to talk a little bit about what a physical change is. In a physical change, the object doesn't really change what it is. So it causes a physical property. So physical properties are things like temperature, shape, and size. It causes that physical property to change. So it, think about molding silly putty. That's changing its shape, but it's still silly putty. So the actual substance is going to remain the same. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk long enough for you to copy all of this down. So what you need to do on your own is pause this if you need to and write down what you need to write down. Now, I'm not going to show you the examples right now. I'm going to show you the examples in a minute on a video. So right now, just focus on recording the definition of a physical change. A chemical change, on the other hand, results in the creation of a completely new substance. It's a lot easier to come up with examples of chemical changes than physical changes. And I'll show you why in the video in a minute. And there are six signs of the chemical change. Now I'm going to mention some of them in the video you're about to see, and then after the video I'm going to come back to this again. Hi, this is Mrs. Kohler, and thank you for joining me today as I make my breakfast and talk about physical and chemical changes. So I'm going to make my breakfast today. It's very nutritious. It's eggs, toast, and milk. So things going to take the longest is the toast, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that bread in the toaster, and we'll talk later about whether that's a physical or chemical change. And then to make my eggs, first thing I need to do is I need to light the stove. So once that stove lights, we have this nice blue fire. Now, anytime you have anything associated with fire, it's a chemical change. This has several of the indicators of chemical change. One is the heat that comes off of it. It's really hot. And also the light that's produced. It also produces either carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide gas. I'm going to put the pan on top of there, let it warm up a little bit. And after that warms up, I'm going to add some butter to the pan. Now, butter right now is in its solid state. It's a little bit soft, but it's still solid. Once I add it to the pan here, it's going to stop being solid and it's actually going to start turning into a liquid. So this butter in the pan, it's still yellow, but it's now turning from solid to liquid. That's melting. Melting is a change of state, and anytime you have a change of state, that means you are getting a physical change. So I'm going to add the eggs to this. Now when I crack the egg, it's still an egg. It hasn't changed to something else, it's just now broken. So if you're just changing the shape of something or breaking it, that's a physical change. I'm going to drop this in here, let it start cooking, and I'm going to physically change my other eggshell so that I can get the insides out and drop that in. And I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but there's a little bit of sizzling going on there. A sound is another sign of a chemical change, uh, the production of a sound. So we have some sizzling happening there. So when we, if I take these off and show you the eggs. So the eggs are starting to change from that yellowish color to white. That's a color change. Anytime there's a color change, that's a sign of a chemical change. So cooking the eggs is actually a chemical change. So I'm going to let those cook for a couple minutes more. While that's happening, I'm going to pour myself a very nutritious glass of milk. As I'm pouring the milk from the container into the glass, it's still milk. It hasn't changed into anything else. It just has a different shape. So that's a physical change because you've changed the shape. Now my toast has popped up. And when you look at the toast, you can see that it now has that beautiful golden brown color to it. That's a sign of a chemical change because the color of it has started to change. Now in the center where it's not turning brown, that's a physical change inside where it's warm, but the outside is starting to chemically change. You can see now the eggs are almost completely white. They have that nice white color. Flipping them over, well that's a physical change because I've just changed the position of it. I'm gonna take butter and I'm going to butter my toast. And as I do that, I'm just changing the way the butter looks. It's still butter, so that's a physical change. And it's even gonna melt a little bit 
the melting is physical because it's just changing from solid to liquid. So buttering the toast, physical change. And then I'm going to cease my chemical change here with the fire so that we don't burn down the house. And I am going to put the eggs on the plate and then sit down to eat my nutritious breakfast. Now, as I start eating this and putting things in my mouth, the chewing is gonna break it into smaller pieces. That's physical. But the saliva and the enzymes in my stomach are gonna start breaking it down into other substances and that's chemical. Thanks for watching, see you in class. So I hope you enjoyed the video of me eating breakfast. So there were some physical changes there, there were some chemical changes there. Now I'm going to go over the signs that chemical change has occurred. If none of these signs is there, chances are it was physical. So first sign of a chemical change is an unexpected change in temperature. I'm not talking about water boiling because you heated it. I'm talking about all I did was turn a little knobby on the stove and a fire lit. There's no logical reason why a fire should have suddenly appeared there. So something that's warmer or colder with no external heat source. Light is produced. So fire, a light bulb, anything like that, that's a chemical change because it's producing light. Producing an odor. If you could have smelled what I was doing while I was making the video, you would have smelled the toast. You would have smelled the cooking eggs. Unexpected color change. That clear part of the egg turned to white for no apparent reason. This wasn't mixing yellow and blue and getting green. It was getting a completely new color. Formation of a precipitate, that's something we'll talk more about in class, but in general a precipitate happens when you mix two liquids and it creates a solid. Or a gas forms, sometimes you mix two things and it starts to bubble. Generally when a gas forms, that's a sign of a chemical change. So as you're out and about for the next couple of days, take a look around at changes that are happening around you. There's physical changes happening, there's chemical changes happening everywhere. See if you can identify some on your own. Thanks for watching. See you in class. And I'm going to pause so Dustin can open his candy. I'll just edit it out. You don't have to pause it. <laughs> I'll put that in as a blooper. <laughs> <laughs>